So what happened? Trump comes in the office back in the day. He says, okay, let me eliminate all the competition. We're going to put sanctions on China. We're going to put tariffs on all the rest of the countries around the world that sell products in America. And we're going to put up a wall in Mexico. Why? Why did he put up a wall in Mexico, y'all? Keep us Keep us in. No. Eliminate the competition. When you see all them Hispanics coming into town, these is labor, affordable labor. These are the people that's gonna build the house. Remember, when you're building houses, I come to the brother, I mean to the Hispanic, to the white guy, say, how much you gonna charge me to build this 2,500 square foot house on my half an acre? I'll charge you 500,000. I go to the Hispanic guy, how much you gonna charge me to build this house? He say, man, I'm gonna call all my brothers and sisters from Mexico, and we're gonna build it for 320. Who you gonna, who gonna get the deal, y'all? <laughs> there it is there. So when you got the power, you gonna eliminate all the competition, right? So he has American dollars saying, we're gonna put up a wall and lock them out. So that's what happened. So what did Biden do? As soon as Biden get in office, what did he do? Took the wall there. Trump said, I'm gonna make sure my people gonna be the wealthiest in history. Trump was supposed to be the wealthiest person in US history. So what happened anyway? When, he, when they approved them uh, sanctions on China, y'all see what he's doing? Do y'all know what that means when he did this right here? What does that represent from an entrepreneurial perspective? That meant manufacturing, China is the yep. biggest plant, biggest manufacturer on the planet. Did y'all hear what I just said? Yes. They're, he's the biggest manufacturer on the planet. So that means when he put, put sanctions on them, that means we ain't let nothing else of yours come through here. We're going to charge an extra $2,000 per container that come in here. If you're not building it in America, we don't want you over here. Everybody across the board, Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Toyota Motor Corporation had three offices out here, probably like 50,000 people. They closed them all, most of them down, relocated from Torrance, California to Plano, Texas with a quarter of the employees they had because they said we are not building all our cars in America. There it is there. They cut back their whole workforce, making them, they used to be the biggest automaker on the planet, now they not. Guess who on that door steps for that now? Tesla. Tesla said, I'll build all my cars here if y'all back me and get rid of all the competition. That's what they did. So fast forward the story.